To know whether a particular plant or a fruit, flower or leaf, harmonica or dicot, type in the name if you know it in English. Do not click on the left side where it says Ananas Camosus Pineapple. That will just show you the observations. Click on the About. So I'm using the search box at the top of iNaturalist. And up at the top of the screen, you'll see here a, a link, the three dots. Click on the three dots. The key is right here, Liliopsida. Angiosperm means flowering plants. Liliopsida means monocots. Those are the monocots. Now from here, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to click on angiosperms. That's the flowering plants. And right next to angiosperms is a down arrow. Magnoliopsida, those are the dicots. That's the, that magnoliopsida is the Latin name for dicots. So I can look up whether a fruit is a monocot or a dicot from here. I can put in apple and do a search for the apples. And again, I can go to about. And here I can see it's magnoliopsida right there. So it's a dicot. That's a dicot. Now, there will be some that might not be in here if you don't know the name, like a Suriname cherry. You'd have to know that name. But that is the name of it. And so you can go to the Suriname cherry, and you can see it's in Magnoliopsida. Many of the fruits you know will be listed here. Just have to type in the name. Bananas, Liliopsida, monocot. So this is how you can sort out whether you have a monocot or dicot from expanding this list here at the top. You just click on the three dots, expand it. If you see the class is Liliopsida, it's a monocot. If you see the class is Magnoliopsida, it's a dicot. Monocot and dicot. That should help you out.